Have you ever wondered how civilization looked like thousands of years ago? Let's journey back in time to the ancient lands of the Indus Valley, where two extraordinary cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro lay nestled. These cities, built around 2600 to 1900 BCE, are older than the pyramids of Egypt, and were the cradle of an advanced civilization that had mastered the art of urban planning and architecture. Their meticulous design, precision, and the sophistication of their infrastructure were truly ahead of their time, showcasing an ingenious understanding of city planning, water management, and architectural design. These cities were not just settlements, they were well-planned metropolises, home to a civilization that thrived on innovation and the pursuit of knowledge. As we delve into the past, we are about to uncover the advanced urban planning and architectural marvels of these ancient cities. When we talk about urban planning, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were way ahead of their time. These cities, nestled in the heart of the Indus Valley, were a testament to the forward-thinking minds of the ancient world. Let's consider the systematic layout of the cities. Each city was divided into sectors, a feature that is characteristic of modern urban planning. The streets, with their right-angled intersections, were meticulously organized, creating a grid-like pattern that is not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional for efficient movement and navigation. The houses, too, were thoughtfully designed. They were built around courtyards, an architectural feature that allowed for efficient ventilation and natural light. And here's something that might surprise you. These houses even had private bathing areas, a clear indication of the importance placed on cleanliness and personal hygiene. But the planning didn't stop at the individual house level. The city planners also took into account the community as a whole. They designed spaces for communal gatherings, markets, and even waste disposal, demonstrating an impressive understanding of a healthy and efficient living environment. And let's not forget the sophisticated drainage system, each house was connected to a network of covered drains that carried waste away from the residential areas. This is a clear indication that the city planners understood the importance of sanitation and were able to implement a solution on a city-wide scale. So, you see, the urban planning of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro was not just about building a city. It was about creating a living environment that was efficient, hygienic, and conducive to community living. It was about understanding the needs of the inhabitants and creating a city layout that catered to these needs. Indeed, the urban planning of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro exhibits an impressive understanding of a healthy and efficient living environment. These ancient cities, with their meticulous planning and well-thought-out architecture, stand as shining examples of the ingenuity of our ancestors. The architecture of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro is a testament to their advanced civilization, Let's delve into the details of their architectural marvels. The buildings of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were constructed using standardized bricks, a remarkable feat that points towards a highly skilled and organized workforce. These bricks were not randomly placed. Oh no, they were meticulously laid in patterns, creating not just visually appealing structures, but also robust ones. What's more, the standardization of bricks across the vast Indus Valley civilization, from small rural settlements to sprawling urban centers, speaks to an impressive level of cohesion and shared architectural practices. The scale of this uniformity is quite simply mind-boggling. Now let's turn our attention to the design and layout of the buildings. The houses were not just randomly built, they were part of a well-thought-out plan. Most residences were designed around a central courtyard, providing efficient ventilation. Each house had its own bathing area, a testament to the importance these ancient civilizations placed on hygiene and well-being. Public buildings, too, were not without their charm. Take, for instance, the granaries. These were massive rectangular buildings, strategically placed near riverbanks for easy transport of harvested crops. The granaries had multiple air ducts for ventilation and were divided into units for efficient storage and distribution of grains. These architectural feats did not happen overnight. They were the result of a deep understanding of materials, keen observations of the natural environment, and an ability to innovate and adapt. These cities were not just built, they were engineered. And despite the inevitable wear and tear of time, many of these structures have endured their remnants standing tall as a testament to the architectural prowess of the Harappan people. The architectural brilliance of these ancient cities continues to captivate us, thousands of years later. These ruins are not just stones and bricks,
they are echoes of a bygone era, whispers of a civilization that was, in many ways, far ahead of its time. One of the architectural marvels in Mohenjo-daro is the Great Bath. This is no small claim considering the wealth of architectural wonders these cities have to offer, but the Great Bath is truly something to behold, not just for its size and grandeur, but also for the advanced understanding of water management it represents. Located in the heart of Mohenjo-daro, the Great Bath measures approximately 12 by 7 meters, with a depth of nearly 2.5 meters. It was constructed using fine quality bricks and a layer of natural tar, ensuring it was watertight. This was no ordinary pool, but a feat of engineering that showcases the inhabitants' sophisticated knowledge of water supply and drainage. The Great Bath was fed by a well, and the used water was cleverly drained off through a corbelled arch drain that flowed into the city's larger drainage system. This is an early example of a dedicated water supply and a planned sewerage system, something that many modern cities still struggle to perfect. The purpose of the Great Bath remains a subject of speculation among historians. Some believe it was used for ritualistic bathing, a practice that holds significance in many ancient cultures. Others propose it was a public pool for the citizens of Mohenjo-daro. Regardless of its intended use, the Great Bath is a testament to the advanced architectural and engineering skills of the Indus Valley civilization. Let's now turn our attention to the city's drainage system. The sophistication of this system is truly remarkable, especially considering the era in which it was built. Each house in the city was connected to a centralized drainage system through a series of brick conduits. These conduits ensured that wastewater was efficiently disposed of, maintaining the cleanliness of the city and preventing the spread of diseases. The sophisticated drainage system of these cities was truly revolutionary, setting a high bar for modern urban planning. In essence, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro were not just cities, they were living, breathing entities that showcased an understanding of urban living that was far ahead of their time. The artifacts found in Harappa and Mohenjo-daro open a window to their vibrant culture. These relics, discovered in the ruins of these ancient cities, tell us a story of a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. From elaborate jewelry to beautifully crafted pottery, the artistry of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro was nothing short of extraordinary. The intricate designs on these pieces reveal a deep appreciation for beauty and craftsmanship. They used precious stones and metals, indicating their advanced knowledge of metallurgy and gemology. And let's not forget about the carved seals. These seals, often featuring animals and mythical creatures, were used for trade and administrative purposes, showing us that these cities were centers of commerce and governance. But it's not just the physical artifacts that tell us about their culture. The layout and design of the cities themselves are artifacts of a sort, showcasing a deep understanding of urban planning and architecture. The organized streets, efficient drainage systems, and well-ventilated homes show us that the people of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro valued hygiene, comfort, and community. The Great Bath, one of the most well-known structures of Mohenjo-daro, serves as another cultural artifact. This communal bathing area was likely a social hub, a place where people gathered, socialized, and perhaps even conducted religious rituals. The advanced water supply and drainage system of the Great Bath highlight the residents' understanding of water management, again showcasing their remarkable engineering acumen. These artifacts, both physical and architectural, provide us with a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the people of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. They paint a picture of a vibrant, sophisticated civilization that valued art, beauty, craftsmanship, and community. A civilization that, despite existing thousands of years ago, was incredibly advanced in many ways. So as we delve into the ruins of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, let's not just marvel at the physical remains. Let's also appreciate the cultural significance of these artifacts, the stories they tell, and the lessons they teach us. These artifacts give us a fascinating glimpse into the lives of the people of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. Exploring Harappa and Mohenjo-daro has been an enlightening journey. We've delved deep into the ancient world, peering into the lives of civilizations that thrived thousands of years ago. These cities, with their meticulously planned sectors, organized streets, and ingeniously designed houses, were a testament to the sophistication and foresight of our ancestors. The architectural marvels of these cities, built with standardized bricks, revealed a highly skilled workforce and a deep understanding of structural integrity. 
The Great Bath, with its advanced water supply and drainage systems, stands as a symbol of social unity and resource management. The artifacts discovered here, from elaborate jewellery to intricately carved seals, painted a vibrant picture of a culture rich in artistry and craftsmanship. These ancient cities stand as a testament to the remarkable ingenuity of early civilizations, reminding us of our shared human history 